Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be on a really good dupe for these Gucci loafers that I've seen everywhere. I actually have not bought any shoes in so long, but I really loved these particular ones. Originally, I was actually going to plan to buy some Doc Martin loafers that I used to have when I was like in, what was it, like ninth grade, I think. And I really love those shoes. I'll show you guys what they look like. So it's these ones with the buckle those are the ones that i was like super obsessed with when i was in high school and i was originally gonna buy them but then i saw someone post these loafers well the prada ones on tiktok they were they weren't actually just showing them they were just kind of like showing like trendy items i usually don't buy trendy items but if there's certain things that really call to me and that i like have to have i will buy them and these particular ones i fell in love with obviously i'm not gonna spend what are they like i think it was like two or three thousand dollars for some damn loafers like i'm sorry no <laughs> but i did actually find really good dupes from steve madden as you can tell from my like photo that i have on my youtube video for this particular video and literally, I feel like they're the exact same thing, just does not have the logo on it. It even has the same shape of where the logo goes with the strap. So uh, let me just show you the shoes and stop talking so much. And it is these right here. Like, aren't they literally the exact same thing as the Prada ones? Even the way they have the metal piece here, where they would, where, where it would say, um, Prada. It's literally the exact same thing just without the actual Prada logo on there. I love them. I think they're so beautiful and they are really squishy. I honestly, when I saw them online, I assumed they were going to be really stiff. I have bought loafers from like this type of style from Steve Madden before and they tend to be super stiff, but these were actually really, really, really flexible, which I really appreciate because I prefer that over stiff ones. They're really stiff leather, you guys know, super uncomfortable. So when I tried these on, I was like, yes. And just an FYI, usually like in sneakers, I'm a size nine, but I know with Steve Madden, just because I buy from them all the time, that like booties and boots, I always go half a size up and then like heels and things like that, I'll go up to even to a size 10, depending on like what type of heel it is. So with these, I ended up purchasing a nine and a half and they fit me perfect. So if you usually, you know, you're like a size eight, I would say go for eight and a half just to be more comfortable. And I feel like they fit me great. And they do have like a nice thick sole on them, which I really love, but they're not too big. Like I know a lot of, um, a lot of the loafers are really big soles and I don't like that. Last year I had posted a video on some that were going to viral. I think it was last year that i purchased from zara that everyone bought and i really love them on everyone else and then when i received them i was like oh hell no like i look like i don't know like lumberjack over here stomping around i hated them they were so ugly on me on me i'm not saying they look ugly on them obviously they look good on them that's why i wanted them but on me personally i hated them so i feel like the sole itself is a perfect width where it's not too big like it's bigger than normal, lo normal loafers, but it's still, you know, thin enough to where it doesn't look like it's too much. I don't know if that makes sense, but yes, guys, these are super, super cute. And it does have like a stitching back here, but I mean, who's really paying attention to that? I mean, I'm not. But if you're like really particular about stuff like this, then you won't like that. But besides that, I love these shoes. Like, they haven't found anything I don't like about them. And I'm super excited to wear them. Now on the opposite end, I actually purchased some sneakers from Steve Madden that, cause I was also looking for another dupe and it was the Golden Goose sneakers. Um, I was looking for a dupe for them and when I saw these, I swear I thought they were the, the exact same thing. Now the photo on the website, let me show you what, what you know I saw online. So uh, that is the photo that I saw when I was looking at these shoes. I was like, oh, they're perfect. Like they're a little bit dirty. And then they have like a little bit of, of that glitter. The, they look just like the Golden Goose shoes, right? I mean, looking at that photo, they look like, 
like they would be almost exactly the same thing well when i received them i was so annoyed i was like really i was like they do not look like the photo online and then i had to like really really look at the photo and like zoom in and i'm like ah, the picture got me and lied to me so <laughs> these are the shoes that i got from them i didn't even try them on just because i was so annoyed with the fact that the website deceived me with the photos so they look cute right i mean i love the sparkle but what i don't like is the suede like on the website as you guys saw this looked super dirty right i mean that's the thing we're going for and on top of that it looked like it was white leather and that's why i purchased them it does have like a terry cloth inside and as you can tell i still have all the paper inside i didn't even bother trying these on just because i was so annoyed with the fact that they're not leather and i'm sorry but i'm not gonna spend i did spend a hundred dollars on these because i was planning to have them be my everyday shoe but i'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars on suede when i know it's gonna mess up that's why i was really annoyed because i thought it was leather and to me that's overpriced like i'm not gonna pay for shoes that are not even real leather that's just me personally but in case you want these shoes this is what they look like and they are suede and they are this gray material the glitter is really nice it doesn't look like it would fall out and you know what i actually didn't even try them on so let's just see if they're true to size these i did get my normal uh size nine because like i said in sneakers that's usually what my size is and it does have this terry cloth inside but you know what let's try them on let's find out if these fit i did see a lot of the reviews from people that actually did buy these shoes and they all said they were super comfortable and they look comfortable yeah the nines fit me fine so they would have fit me this is what they look like <laughs> on the feet and i mean I, they're cute but again i'm not gonna pay a hundred dollars for this i want regular leather so that they're more sturdy because i know the second that this gets sturdy like that's it it's over and done with you can't just clean this up like my vans have the same material and i only paid what like 60 bucks for them or 65 so yeah these are going back sadly i am gonna try to see if i can find another dupe because i'm not gonna spend 400 dollars on golden goose shoes as much as i think they're super cute i rather find a dupe for them i have seen seen people post the shoes from amazon but i don't really like buying from amazon anymore i try not to whenever i can and then also they had this warning for these particular shoes, not the loafers, but just these, which in California, I don't know if you guys know, but um, certain items, they have to put a warning label if they are dangerous. Oh, never mind. I didn't even read it. It just says that your children can suffocate in this bag, but eh. My kids are not going to be playing with this bag, but yes, yeah, sadly, these are going back, and I was actually waiting to make this video just to return them. I already started the process i have to take them to the FedEx uh, office later so I can get my money back and buy something else. Now, if you guys have... You know what? I didn't even try the shoes on for you guys, right? Let's put them on right now. So that way you guys can kind of see... I know this is going to be such a horrible photo, but let me just show you kind of what they look like on my foot. I, why did I say photo? Video? Image? So... <laughs> this is what they look like let me see if i can stand on my chair so that is what the shoe looks like and like i said you know i got a nine and a half and they're super comfortable they're not too tight if i would have gone to a size nine they definitely would not have fit me so definitely go up half a size if you end up purchasing these because they are going to be too tight in my opinion but I am a bigger size foot, so usually I notice girls with smaller feet, the, the shoe size tends to be like true to size for them. But anyone like, I feel like maybe like a seven, like an eight, I guess you would say, and up, we tend to have to go up a size for some reason. But yes, I will definitely link these down below for you guys in case you guys are interested in them. And I think that's it for the video. Any other questions or concerns, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. You guys know I always respond to you guys as soon as I can. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.